Okay, this is this is comic talk review, and I had okay. According to the last episode, which was episode 153, I did a trailer reaction to Captain America Civil War, the second trailer. So, and, and in the process, at the end of the trailer, I got, like, really hype. I really hype. I screamed really loud. I think most of the people could hear me, but oh my gosh, that was a good trailer. Okay, I wanted to talk about the trailer more because because early, because eight hours ago I um freaked out. Yeah, because I couldn't think of what to say. So now I'm gonna say, what do I think about the trailer? <clears throat> what do I think about it? Um. It was really good. I heard this was supposed to be the final trailer. The final trailer? Really? Like, why is it the final trailer if the movie's not near, nearly here yet? They have to post, like, one more trailer. Because Batman vs. Superman just put up, like, four now or five I don't know I lost count so like they like the whole process I want to talk about the things that happened in the trailer and the other trailer there are rumors that Roni that Rhodey war machine might die I don't think I don't think so because um he's probably injured I'm just guessing if he's injured or something. But but the Civil War it started out as a comic book for Marvel Civil War. Um I don't want to explain the whole story cuz you know some stuff. So um like what are we like on in during the comic book there was a fight in the comic book, there was a fight. There was a black guy, a black superhero named Giant, named Goliath, a black superhero named Goliath, and he died in the process. And um, like he died because he died because of a robot Thor. A robot Thor. Yeah. You guys can look it up, like seriously. Okay, so anyway, um, they, like, he got killed, and then, yeah. So are they doing the same thing from the comic book? Like a black guy dies. Dot. Like, can I mean, like, oh, War Machine is gonna die just like Goliath did. Well, he got, well, Goliath got shot through the heart, through the chest, and, um, and, um, well, Rhodey gets shot by a missile from someone. Some said it was the Winter Soldier that did it, but, but who did it? That's how Rhodey got injured or killed or anything, I don't know. Okay, now let's talk about Captain America and Iron Man. Those two are the main antagonists for Civil War. Because both of them are leading, are, are on different teams. Because, um, okay, they're on different teams, okay? You see, okay, I'll explain a little bit of the 
story of Civil War. Well, if you guys played the game Ultimate Alliance 2, that's that's part of the Civil War. Well, except the whole Nanite thing in the video game. Um, so there's called a Registration Act. Yeah, I got confused about that. Um, because in in the beginning of the book, the New Warriors, excuse me, the New Warriors were, um, they tried to, they were filming a TV show until, you know, to get, because they were about to go into a house where some villains were, and they, and they attacked them. So, one of them, one of the villains tried to escape, the one called Nitro, who was a mutant, and Namorita, Namorita, which is um, Namor's cousin, comes in and comes in and tries and tries to stop Nitro. But Nitro ex uses his exploding ability and blows up like half of the town. Some of the t and the town had kids there. It was near a it was near a school. She stopped him at a school bus. So, and everyone's upset about it. And a woman spat spit in Tony's face. Cause, cause one of the, cause one of the kids was her kid. So, then there was a pro registration act. Then everybody, all the superheroes were talking about it. And then, like, a lot of stuff. Captain America didn't want like okay here's the registration act is like superheroes need to reveal their identities and work with the government because they don't want people in masks anymore so so um Captain America doesn't like it and he goes he goes he goes rogue and becomes a rebel, and he's leading the res the resistance. Cause um, that's plus it's a stupid law, like revealing yourselves to the government. You, there's a reason why superheroes wear masks for a reason, cause cause they have loved ones to to protect, and I get that. Because, um, like, what if you have a, f if you're a superhero and you have someone you care about and you don't want to reveal yourself to the public, like, you don't want that to happen to you because somebody might be killed. So, moving on. So, also, hmm, what else? Also... I totally agree with Captain America, so because the way he t the way he talks about it was good. Okay, now so that's why Tony and Cap are at odds with each other. And okay, moving on. Um, when I saw Ant Man in the trailer, he got like one shot. But man, that was cool. And the new suit he's wearing, or new helmet, I guess, but it's it was really cool too. And and now let's talk about the number one thing that everybody's been talking about. Spider-Man. Finally he showed up. I'm excited that he showed up because um he like he plays a bigger role in the Civil War. Because in the comics, he was wearing his Iron Spider costume that Tony gave him. So, the suit that he's that he wore in the trailer, I'm guessing Tony gives that to him. He just gave, I think Tony gave that to, gave that to Peter. Like, he just gave it to him. So...
like, oh, one more thing, um, Tony, and Tony threw the first punch, so he's, so, I'm guessing he's the bad guy, well, not, not technically a bad guy, but he's, well, he started, he's threw the first punch, so, yeah. Also, what else? Mm. Like, so Spider-Man. Like, the, if you saw his eyes, if you saw his eyes, like, they moved. Oh my gosh. Like, they remind me of Deadpool's eyes from his movie. And, um, like, from his movie, he, like, squinted his eyes, like, Seriously, squinted his eyes like, like cartoonish a little bit. And the way he grabbed Cap's shield, he said, <laughs> the way he said, "Hey everyone," like he's telling the like he's telling the audience that I'm finally here, guys. You guys finally get to see me. <laughs> so anyway, well. I really hope they show more Spider-Man in this in the movie, and I really hope none of the characters die in this movie because because they need they need most of the they need all the characters for Civil for Infinity War, which is supposed to be the last Avengers movie, I guess, and um, yeah, they have to do Infinity War. It's supposed to have all the characters from from all the Marvel shows and movies, you know, like you know, like Daredevil and stuff. Yeah, they're supposed to have them, and they all just need it. So, so Marvel is like just exploded <laughs> with it. So, I've been going through social media and. Spider-Man is all over the internet, like, all over the internet, like, okay, this better, <clears throat> he's like all over the internet and stuff, like, like, people won't stop talking about him, I even have a photo of it, Spider-Man, I think the real reason why people want to go see Civil War is because they want to see Spider-Man. You got, if you guys want to see my reaction to Spider-Man, you, you go watch Ant Will the Comic Geek episode 153. If you guys want to see it. Like, it was like, I couldn't, I had to calm down. It took me like a couple of hours to calm down. So, that's my prediction of Civil War. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope I get to see this movie in May. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.